Dear sisters and brothers, it is truly a joy and honor to be allowed to address you in this council. This spring, I have an invitation as Archbishop and Primate of Church of Sweden to come, together with my successor, who were then to be inaugurated in June. Her first semester, though, proves to be very intense, and therefore I represent Church of Sweden here and greet you from the present Archbishop. However, I do also represent the World Council of Churches. General Secretary Reverend Dr. Olaf Füchse-Tveit should be here, but has, had not, but has had to cancel his trip due to a very tight schedule. He will make a more thorough visit to your church and Latin America next year and sends his sincere greetings. As also the Latin American president of WCC, Reverend Gloria Ulua from the Presbyterian Church of Colombia is not here either. I, as the European president of the WCC, have the honor and joy of representing the WCC here. The IECLB has played and does play a significant role in the ecumenical movement and ecumenism. Internationally, on this continent, and in Brazil, the importance of your input and hospitality during the WCC Porto Alegre Assembly in 2006 cannot be overestimated. Assembly took place in a rather difficult time of the WCC, but the assembly surely prepared for a future with a sounder and stronger WCC. The fact that you lent your president at that time, Dr. Walter Altman, to serve as moderator of the WCC was of immense importance for the future of the World Council. I know I speak for many in the organization when I express my and the present General Secretary's sincere thanks to you LB and to Walter Altman for his service. I know, both from the sidelines and from my executive committee, that this was a very, very heavy task, and you, Walter, did so well. You led us all the way up to this very successful Busan assembly a year ago. Soli Deo Gloria, but thank you too, Walter. Thank you very much. Inputs from people have been many over the years. Presently, a surprising number of people with roots in your church serve in different capacities in the WCC, in ACT, Action by Churches Together, and in the Lutheran World Federation. That may sometimes feel like a loss for a church, but it reflects a standard in this church the fact that this is a living, educated, faithful and committed discourse. And you have got, and you will get, so much in return. You do now, for example, house the WCC correspondent for Latin America and the Caribbean, the former Latin American office, Dr. Marcelo Schneider, a theologian from your own church in the office of the IELCB. I would like to express the gratitude from the side of the WCC for this arrangement. It illustrates what I just said about being a competent church, equipping the movement with able people, and at the same time, receiving impulses back. There is no real life which is not lived in communion. Your theme, Lives in Communion, strikes a decisive issue in the development of modern societies. We are just as interdependent as ever for our daily lives, but we live in ways which allow us to think that we are independent individuals building our futures on or totally forgotten individuals whom no one cares, or societies which cannot or should not 
cooperate with other societies. But we are interdependent, also with nature. And that interdependence is a joy. Because interdependence makes us see our vocations and our and the gifts of others. With others that we can become what God has meant us to be. Lutheran traditions underscore the Trinity. God is at work in universe, in society, in each and every creature, not only through those who know and trust Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are to cooperate with all humans of goodwill for the sake of life and love. To live in communion means to relate, to respond to, and to be responsible in the surrounding society. It also means to be and do all that in relation to all those others who do know Jesus Christ and the Trinity. Ecumenism. The title of the common preparatory material for the 500 years anniversary of the Reformation due in 2017, issued by the Catholic Church, the World Federation is from conflict to communion. That says a lot about the calling for coming years. Conflict to communion. You as Lutheran Church has Protestant churches of different traditions. You also have resources and a vocation to bring on the important cooperation with a large Catholic Church, Orthodox churches, conflict to communion, pro mundi vita, for the life of the world and for the world to live. Thank you, and may you God to lead.